Hi, do you want to instantly look 10, 15, and maybe even 20 years younger? Well, stick around and I'll show you how. So step one in the process is really to ensure we've removed as much surface oil as possible from the skin. I'm using traditional surgical spirits that you can obtain from any drug store. It's quite easy, just apply a little bit of pad and wipe all the relevant areas around your face you're going to be attaching uh, the lifts to. Now once I've got the skin prepared, I'm going to be using a mastic spirit gum here. And the reason why I use that is it gives a much more stronger bond for the tapes when you start to apply them. And I'm going to apply them into three particular points. You can see I'm doing just above the eyebrows here. And that's the key anchor points that I really want to lift. And it's corresponding area that I attach them to is on the jawline. Both sides, I move on to the third area, which is actually just on the cheekbones. Right, these are the particular ones we're going to be using. They're called Secret Lifts, easily available on Amazon, and the link will be below in the description, should you wish to buy some. Now, attaching them is quite simple. Just peel the backs off of them and tap them on to the glued area. This gives a good adhesion and makes sure that they're going to be staying on nice and tight all night long. So you just attach each pair on. One side of the lift has got a hook on it, the other side has got a knotted area on it. So they're going to be joined up a little bit later. And as you can see here, what I'm doing is each of the pairs, starting off with the ones above my eyebrows, moving on to the jawline, and finally I'm going to do another set, which is right here on my cheek area. Just give it that little bit of final lift. That's the cheeky little cheap ones here that sort of helps to tie it all together as well. Now, once I've actually padded them in place, I do let them dry for a little bit longer. And then I just start to attach them or tighten them up. Now, I generally start with the easier ones, which is generally along with the cheekbones here, just to make sure that they're nice and tight. Don't over tighten them or don't over pull them because you will actually take them off your skin. It won't hurt, but it's... Uh, going to negate all that work you've already done. So all you need to do is to ensure that you've got the hook and eyes and you are crossing them over as you go, making it the relevant tightness to give you the maximum lift possible. Now, once you've got them all actually into place, you can see it's quite a dramatic lift. What I do at this particular stage is sort of like, make sure my ears are in the right place. Now, once we've got them on, we've got to uh, think about getting them off a little bit later and, and cleaning our skin. Now, to actually remove the tabs is quite simple because they will pull off quite easily. The important thing is what we're going to be using, or the products we're going to be using to clean our skin. So we're using HD Pro Gum Remover and an MME Spirit Gum Remover. I use this combination because I found it to be the best. I start off with the HD Pro Gum Remover because it pulls off most of the major sort of residue that's left by the pads. Just gently dab away and then finally you can remove the last bits of residue using the MME Spirit Gum Remover. The important thing at the end of the day is to make sure that your skin is all nice and clean and residue free and that is it. So that's it, gentle folk. That's the complete trick. Previously you may have seen me using the Art Harding facelifts, but I actually find this equally, if not more effective, and it's a damn sight cheaper, if I'm honest. Now, if you are interested in the Art Harding method that's used, it's quite a simple method, there is a little card popping in up here somewhere which will take you to that relevant video. So all that really remains for me to say is if you haven't already joined the channel, please consider doing so, and we would really appreciate that. Um, stay safe, stay well, and until the next time, bye-bye.